Okay, everybody, welcome back. We're going to be discussing uh, riveting today. This is how we do it at Finney. Uh, first question, of course, is what is a rivet? Um, riveting is just a technique to hold parts together. You can see several rivets down this particular part, um, and it's holding this flat piece onto this tube to help reinforce the tube where this hole is. There's a lot of stress. We bent one, so we're adding a little bit of reinforcement here. <clears throat> um, unique thing about a rivet is that you can put it in from one side and you don't need to actually be able to get to the second side um, so you can do all the operations from one side um, the rivets in and of themselves here's a couple of them Let's see if it is. okay so rivets themselves are pretty small here a um, couple key parts on them if you look at this guy here I'll use the second rivet for a pointer we've got the rivet itself which runs from here to here there's the body of the rivet right here and the flange right here and the flange is what you'll actually see on the outside of the part uh, flanges can come in a couple different sizes you can see that one flange here is distinctly larger than the other um, <clears throat> then up through the middle you've got the mandrel right through here and the mandrel runs all the way through the length of the body and it ends in a ball at the bottom and the way the rivet works is that when you put the rivet in the tool it's going to pull that ball up through the body and expand out the lower part of the body until it holds the material together. I'll show you that in just one moment here. Actually, let's show you right now. So if we take it, the rivet and put it in the tool here, okay, and I'll tell you more about the tool in a minute. So you run it all the way in there, and you're going to be able to see that lower part get pulled in, and you see how it expands. Oops. See how it expands out. Just keep some pressure on there. Keep going in. You see how that ball is getting pulled out every time I squeeze the tool? And that's the way it's going to work. Okay. Now, in actual practice, we'll have some material in there to stop the rivet. Um, this rivet's now trash because it's already been expanded. You can now kind of see... And I guess you can't really see it pulled up in there. Oh well. <clears throat> That's rivets. Okay, we talked a little bit about the rivet gun um, as we were compressing that rivet before. Uh, let's talk about the parts of the gun itself. First of all, we have the, the handles to the gun here. We have the head up top. This is where the rivet actually goes in. Um, the handles are actually held closed for packing with this little wire retainer. You can fold that up and out of the way. Uh, you can see the handles are spring-loaded to open up, so when you're actuating it, you're just going to squeeze like that. The, the head of the rivet gun in this particular model swivels. Not all of them do. Some of them are, are fixed, uh, so that's an option out there. Um, additionally, in the head of the gun here, you've got this little guide piece, which is what the mandrel of the rivet will actually fit into. Okay. So it goes in just like that. Now, one thing to keep in mind is you want to have a close fit there. Um, different rivets have different sized mandrels, um, so you have to check that before you get started. Now, we have other tips right here located on the gun, and these just are screwed in temporarily to keep you from losing them. They can just come out like that, and you can unscrew the one up here the same way. And it, it just pops right out, and you can just screw them right back in. Inside there, you can kind of see the jaws um, that'll actually grab the rivet um, and pull it back. So, go ahead and install the new one here, and I'll put the one we're not using back here. Always put them back when you're not using them, otherwise we lose them and don't have them when we need them. <clears throat> And there's one other piece here that's really useful. If, for whatever reason, one of these guys is stuck and you're having trouble getting it off, there's actually a wrench included right back here. And you can just... They're pretty tight right now. Pull that guy out. It's a little hex on top. that you can then just fit over the top here and use it to loosen up. You only use this to loosen it. Don't use it to tighten. If you use it to tighten, you can actually strip out the threads up there and uh, that's no good. 
because it doesn't work anymore, then we have to buy a new one, which, of course, is tough. And when you're done with it, of course, pull the handle back up with its little uh, retainer so that it can be stored on top of our toolbox. And that is the rivet gun. So it's time to install rivets. Um, with these parts, I, I had the plate held in place on the tube. You can use clamps or your hand, whatever you're comfortable with. Took the drill bit per the manufacturer's specification. Uh, we keep a couple of these when we buy a box and we keep them in with the rest of the riveting stuff. And you're just going to take and drill straight through wherever it is that you want the, the rivet to go. Um, this one's already drilled. Um, but you just drill through both pieces at the same time. Um, one thing to keep in mind is placement. You know, you, you want to try and do evenly spaced as much as you can as opposed to just random. Um, so that's something that if we do this piece again we'll, we'll work on. Um, another thing you want to keep in mind is what size rivet to grab. Um, we generally use a lot of eighth inch rivets which are these small ones here. Um, we have the larger flanges for dealing with soft material like treads on wheels, um, if you need to put it in polycarbonate, things like that. Uh, so you put that on the the softer material side. And then for uh, metal, we'll tend to use these smaller ones just because they are uh, they fit in easier. You can get more of them in and make this joint stronger. Generally speaking, the more rivets you have in the joint, the stronger it's going to be. So we've got our hole drilled. We're going to go ahead and stick our rivet in there. No big deal. It's a nice close fit. We're going to take the rivet gun and we're just going to slide it over the top of the mandrel there. Let's slide that into the frame a little more. And you're just going to hold down here and make sure it's on there good and tight so you get good compression. And squeeze and squeeze and squeeze until you hear a pop. And that would be why they're called pop rivets. And then when you let go, the mandrel is going to want to slide right on out. And that's trash. And then you're ready for the next one. Just slide it on over. Sometimes you can slide them in here. Press it down. Keep it straight. If that mandrel sticking out, you can bend it and that'll just jam up the gun. If you do get the, the gun jammed and the mandrel doesn't want to come out, ask one of your teammates to help you out. Last one here. You can see this one spins. If you need to get it in a tight location, you can spin the handle of the gun. But that is riveting in a nutshell. So, good luck and happy riveting. Okay, so I've installed rivets in my part and I need to check and uh, see how I did. So we're going to look back over the rivets that we've got here. Um, just do a quick spot check and make sure they're okay. Now this one's got a little piece of the uh, the mandrel still stuck out of it. Maybe you can see that. Uh, let's see if we get a little closer here. Right here it's got some of the mandrel still sticking out. And if you file that down, that's okay. But this one, as you also notice, it's kind of moving around and wiggling and I can get my finger underneath it. So that one's loose. That one's got to come back out and be redone. Because these rivets hold by holding two parts and compressing them together. So if they're not, if it's able to come up like that, it's not really holding this thing down at all, is it? Um, we got a couple of There's one back here that's just as loose. This one's actually looser. You can even see it separated out. Generally, if you can hear any noise between the rivets, that's uh, a sign that it's loose. Also, up here, you can see the two pieces of shims, or the thin pieces of plate are pulling away, and you can see those have movement in them, so those are loose as well. The loose spots are what's actually going to end up failing on you because it's going to make it real easy to shear off these rivets. So we'll get those ones pulled out and we'll re-rivet those in just a moment. So how do you go ahead and pull one of these out? Well, let's, let's find one. Let's get this real loose one right here. Okay. You're going to use the same drill bit that you used when you originally made the holes. Okay. Um, in this case, it's a number 30 drill bit. It should be listed right on your uh, package here, what the hole size is, so that you can uh, identify an appropriate drill bit. We generally keep them in with our the rest of our riveting equipment. Um, so you have the drill bit in here. 
and you've got a small hole right on the rivet, you can go ahead and just follow that right straight through with the drill bit. And you can see that the flange is going to come off on your drill bit. But now you've got a big enough hole to put a new rivet in. If you do get a couple pieces where the mandrel breaks off kind of high, you can always just come in with a file and clean that off to make sure that nobody gets hurt because nobody likes bleeding. So uh, just clean that up and it'll also help if everybody needs to go back through and drill that out uh, to not have that sticking out proud. Okay, I've mentioned the riveting case a couple times. It's basically just one of our standard cases. It says rivets right on the side of it. Um, it's got, of course, loose rivets in a couple different sizes separated. Um, two sixteenths ones there. We try and keep the label from the box available, so if we need to reorder that, we know what to get. Um, there's also one other thing people in here don't necessarily know about, and that is this little tool here. This is a humdinger. Um, it's basically just a slug of aluminum with a hole drilled in it. So if you're trying to push the rivet into place to get it installed before you put the gun on it, you can just use that to, and it's a lot easier to push with that on the back of your hand than you don't want to do that. So this is just a little thing to help save your hand. So um, We also keep a couple of the key drill bits right here so that they're there when we need them in an emergency. Um, rivets are one of those fast uh, repair jobs that we can do to the robot in the pits. So, that's that.